Hey guys, it's Danny back with another video. And today I'm going to be looking at this iPhone 5 scrolling glitch. And is it going to be a problem for you? I've been reading everywhere about this scrolling glitch and I haven't even noticed it since I've had my iPhone 5. So I'm going to go ahead and try to recreate this. Basically what it is, is if you scroll really, really fast, it pretty much drops the touch. So on a regular scroll like this, you will never notice it. But if you scroll really, really fast and you will see it drops the touch. See that there? And it's just non-responsive for a while. So I don't know who scrolls as fast usually, but the problem is there. And you can see it on the iPhone 5. It is apparent. I think a lot of people are looking at this as, oh, it's a hardware issue. This is going to be a big problem for the iPhone 5. So let's go ahead and take a look at the iPhone 4. And I'm going to go ahead and bring this in and let's see if it is a hardware issue. And um, just so you can see it again, the iPhone 5, I'm going to try to recreate this here. And it does drop the touch response. And here's the iPhone 4. And I'm trying to scroll as fast as possible back and forth. And there's not a single drop here on the iPhone 4. And iPhone 4 is running iOS 6.0 one as well so it's really not the software on this side so let's also take a look at the iPad mini also running 6.01 and here is the iPad mini and I am trying to recreate the same thing that is happening on the iPhone 5 and they said it's more prominent when you scroll up and down and nothing on the iPad mini now I have an iPod Touch 5th generation, and let's see if we can recreate this, because maybe it's the Retina Display Panel, since it does have the in-cell technology. So let's just uh, see if we can recreate this, since it is a thinner panel, and the iPhone 5 and the iPod share the same panel. And what do you know, it is here on the iPod Touch 5th generation, and we can recreate this pretty easily with fast scrolling and you can see that it happens quite often I mean it doesn't happen all the time but if you bring it back into scrolling you will see that it does drop the touch alright now I want to try to do this with my iPad with retina display now this is the third generation not the A6 model that just came out and I'm gonna try to recreate the same thing and what do you know it's here too and that's running 6.01 and this is not the same screen as the iPhone 5. It doesn't share that same kind of in-cell technology. So what? how do we really explain why these drops are happening here? Is it a software issue? I don't know. So I think a lot of people were saying it's exclusive to the iPhone 5, but it's definitely not exclusive to that because you can see right here, it happens on the older iPad with Retina display as well and the iPod Touch 5th generation. Now... Is this really going to be an issue for any of you? I mean, this is probably the craziest game here, Fruit Ninja, where you're going to have to scroll and slash like crazy. And you can see me slashing like mad up and down. And there's not a single drop in touch here. And you can see that I'm going up and down here. And I'm just trying to go as fast as I can. And there is not a single drop at all. Now, they're saying up and down is worse. So on this side on landscape, let's do it this way and see if there's any kind of a loss here as well. And I'm trying to go as fast as I can. And oops, I just blew it up there. But I'm trying to go as fast as I can here and nothing's happening. So there you go. I mean, there is nothing happening at all. There's no dropped touch response. So I really don't think it's going to be a big deal at all. I've never even noticed it before, but... Since the sites are kind of making a big deal and some of the blogs are making kind of a big deal out of it, I just wanted to show that it really doesn't affect you on real world. And it also affects other devices besides the iPhone 5. So what do you guys think about it? Leave your comments below and please subscribe to my channel and please give me a thumbs up so other people can enjoy this video as well and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.